Are we good? We're good. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Salty Nerd Podcast. It is June Claude Van Damme, and uh, we are watching kind of a Van Damme movie. It's yeah. got ev- it's got everybody got in it. A little bit of everybody. It's got a little bit of everybody. <laughs> you got Christopher Lambert. You got uh, so Mike good. Tyson shows up in awesome. it. Awesome. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say there was not enough Jean Claude Van Damme in my Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah, agreed, <laughs> agreed. Um, yeah, this is a, God. This is a hell of a movie, guys. I can't wait to talk about it. I am joined as always by Dutch Butters. What's up, dude? Hey, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Ready to get my Thor, Thor Jordson, whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, the mountains in the this mountain. movie too. Yeah, get my mountain. Holy on, crap! Yeah. This is Jude's pick, so she's responsible for the. You're uh, welcome. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This movie is ridiculous. <laughs> it is so silly. Uh, Matt the is always producing the show. What's up, bro? Yeah, I can't wait to talk about this one. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the first 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> my God. Uh, <laughs> Which Judy. Play, plays like a perfume commercial. Yeah, yes. It really does. Yeah. Dude, this whole show... Just it's so disjointed. Jude, do you have a synopsis for us? I do. I just want to say really quickly <laughs> when I went to start this movie. So Kadish has been traveling and then he got sick. And so we've just kind of been doing our own things. And he was upstairs watching TV. So I texted him <laughs> and I was like, hey, I'm going to start this movie. I was like, if you want to just watch it on your own, that's cool. But I'm down here if you want to come join me. Sure. And he didn't text me back. So I started it without him. And I accidentally started it as the Spanish version. Nice. And I was like, what is going on? And then I realized that it was the Spanish subbed version. So I stopped it. And I texted him again. I was like, so last chance. And then I started it again. And so I got. It made no difference to that. Not a lot. So I got through the first scene. And I was like. (laughs) <laughs> and then he comes downstairs and I was like, so all you've all you've missed is like kind of a fever dream on, on a train. And he goes, For real? oh, no, you have to start it over because I am not missing that. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to see it twice. Anyway, OK. 2018 Kickboxer Retaliation rated R with a runtime of one hour, 55 zero minutes. This had a budget of 10 million dollars. What? <laughs> right. <laughs> It all went to Christopher Lambert. <laughs> and this terrible haircut. I'm just gonna tell you, it had a box office of a hundred thousand. Of course wow. it did, dude. The listen, man. The I more I, I didn't even know this movie existed. I didn't either. Look, the more that I learn about people making movies and how much things cost, and oh yeah, this movie had a budget of this many millions, and I'm like, <laughs> this is all just money laundering. So, so the, this is the seventh installment of the Kickboxer franchise. Sure. And my synopsis is based on my headcanon for what the previous six <laughs> are. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, but before you you get to your synopsis, uh, so as she mentioned, this is the seventh film in the ever-growing Kickboxer franchise. The next one that they're making is called Kickboxer Annihilation. Nice. Um, but uh, so ba- basically, Jean-Claude Van Damme didn't come back for the sequel to Kickboxer. So they replaced him with a new character. And then they replace that character with a new character for two more films. <laughs> um, and, and the sixth kickboxer film, which was the one previous to this one, served as a reboot to the, the franchise. And so you have someone new playing the character that Jean-Claude Van Damme played in the original. And Jean-Claude Van Damme plays the trainer of that character. And uh, Dave Bautista played uh, Tong Po or whatever that guy's name was. Oh, that's who he played. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so like... Um, there, there's like this whole backstory to this is technically kickboxer two. <laughs> what <we just> <laughs> right okay. That makes more sense. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Poor Kurt Sloan can't catch a break. He just wants to win UFC fights and tangle with tango with his wife, but people keep kidnapping him and making him fight to the death. <laughs> Discuss. That's really I just, it. That's I get it. the impression that this happens to him a lot because in the beginning, the UFC guys are like, he just keeps coming in and winning and then we never see him again. Then he comes back and wins some more. And my head cannon is that he comes in, he wins a UFC fight, somebody immediately kidnaps him, makes him <laughs> fight to the death, and then he wins that and he escapes, and then he wins another UFC fight. I, uh, so I saw Christopher Lambert in there, and by the time this movie was over, I go, I just realized that's like, oh, they turned Raiden into Shang Tsung. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. It's like, well, why does he have to be the big bad? I love Christopher Lambert. Me too, sure. Like, he plays a great him. bad guy. He's he's a bad guy. He's a bad I, I, guy. I like the way he doesn't act very good. <laughs> he, he he hams it up in he this does. movie so much. It's so ridiculous. It's, like, it's so say it here could be only one. Just say it. Please, <laughs> please, please, God. Well, well, they had him sword fight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just yeah. for no reason. Like, no reason. Look, yeah. nothing in this movie 
happens like, for a show, reason. Show in, us your balls. In his show, contract, show us your balls. Yeah. In, in his contract, he was like, I'm not doing this movie unless I get to sword fight. Right. It has to be a real sword. Yeah. Well, I, actually, he hates sword fighting because he's basically blind. Right. Like, he can't see anything. Yeah. So he's always Doesn't like, he make a joke himself. about Jean Claude being blind in this movie? And it's like, yeah, but you're blind. <laughs> I get the impression those two had a blast. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Look, man, I get paid a couple of thousand Listen. dollars to freaking show up and like act like an. The, these yeah. guys cannot. Go make a movie like this and not have fun. I, as, as, yeah. I mean, otherwise, why would they bother? Look, the only good thing about this is the fight scenes. Like, uh, editing wise and, and oh, pacing, yeah, it weird. is dreadful. Yeah. It, it's all over the place. There's no transitions from one. The, the music sucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they played like surfing music at one yeah. point for no reason. And I'm like, what is that? What are... The music is crazy. It's so weird. Like, it starts out with a tango on a train. Yeah. And then they don't tell you it's a dream. It's like they're selling perfume. Yeah. And they had to do a quick commercial for it. <laughs> and, and, like, at one point during the commercial, you expect, like, somebody to go, like, oh, I only tango with men who wear brute. Yeah. They, they, they there's no transitional uh, scenes for changing yeah. locations. Yeah. It's always just hard cut. Now we're in a new place and we're doing something new. And it's like, yeah. how did we get here? Why are we here? I, I Who told, is this guy? I, what is time? I, 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 told, I told Jude that it was like we were watching the Lynn Kapazinski movie. It really, yeah. Exactly it what does I feel thought. like that. I thought the same thing. I go, <laughs> Lynn could have made this movie. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there would have been more bikers with tattoos and stuff in it. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more nudity. A lot yeah. more nudity. Yeah, there would have yeah. been more boobs. <laughs> That's sure. what this movie needed was boobs. Boobs were a necessity. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mike Tyson is in this a lot more than I A lot. He yeah. was awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know awesome. why he was there. There was a scene He's where trained, he trained him in jail. I, I know, but He's why? He taught him how to meditate. <laughs> he taught him how to meditate. Yeah. <laughs> you have what so, my meditation. You know what to my meditation. Right. Fuck it. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> it's real though. That's how it goes down. You, 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 just, you see this plant? You gotta put this plant on your back. Yeah. It, it'll it makes make the, nerves, so, go it makes the nerves go numb. And I'm just I'm watching this and like at some point in time in this movie. They've got Mike Tyson tied up to a Roose Bolton freaking <laughs> ex getting, getting whipped. whipped. Getting and whipped. he's just sitting there and he's looking at this guy. And he's like, first time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what The other dude's crying and yeah. freaking out. And he's like, you're going to put this plant on your back and go numb. You won't feel nothing. And I'm like, what the fuck is Don't this? Don't get it on your dick. What the fuck is this movie? <laughs> yeah, they, they were like mortal enemies until they got whipped together. Yeah. They were like, you're, cool, you're cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> These guys suck, am I right? Yeah. I mean, at one point in time, the UFC fighter guy or the kickboxer guy finally it, like is like, fine, I'll fight to the death. Okay, you win. We'll do it. It's like you kidnapped but my wife. His yeah. his stipulation is, but I have to be able to train with my prison buddies. Yeah. And, like that's a line in the movie, and I'm like, yeah. oh my god. I need my prison squad. <laughs> I need my prison squad. I need my prison. Owner. I was like, because he got forced to go to prison. He's like, well, either you fight to the death, or you're gonna spend the rest of your life in prison. Yeah. And he spends most of the movie in prison, being like tortured. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but my boys are in there. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, one thing I've learned over the years of watching movies and stuff. Who's that? As um. We should never ever go to Thailand. Yeah. For any reason ever <laughs> whatsoever. It just should not, you should not go. It's not there. For, it's not for us. Well, yeah. then at one point, he like uh he like breaks free for a minute and he steals his cell phone and he just calls his wife and he's like, hey, I'm in a prison in Thailand. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> Kidnap me again. <laughs> so uh this movie was written and directed by a man named uh, Dimitri Logothetis. And uh, if that name doesn't sound familiar to you, it's because you probably never heard of him. No. But he was the writer and director of another one of our favorite movies, uh, Jiu Jitsu, starring Nicolas Cage. Whoa. Oh. And, and Frank, uh, Frank Grillo, right? Frank Grillo. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, a bunch of people from this movie, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Kurt Sloan, the main character, he's in that. Yeah. Uh, his, the actor's name is Al Elaine or Alan uh, Moosey. Yeah. And uh, basically, he's kind of like the Robert De Niro to Dimitri uh, Logothesis. He just uses but, but, but the okay. the way that this guy makes movies is he gets a lot of these internationally known actors to sign on, sells all the foreign rights, finances uh, up to the tune of $10 million, and then, um, you know, distributes it overseas mostly. Um, so that's how like these movies keep getting made. Oh, very so Roger Corman. Of yeah, it's like um, Roger Corman, Uwe Boll kind of like melted. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, so uh, basically, uh, this guy directed the previous Kickboxer, which was Kickboxer, the reboot. 
then he's making Kickboxer 3, Kickboxer Annihilation, I gotta, the same cast. I'm going to go watch this one with Batista in it now. Yeah, I... That's the issue. I didn't, I didn't know that. Was we thing. messed this up we because we never watched we the first one. Alex. We, we did. Yeah. yeah. We watched the sequel before the first yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Damn Jude, Jude said that last night as we were watching. He's like, we're pulling an Alex right now. Uh-huh. We watched the sequel before the original. Yeah. He's like, I don't think it's going to matter. And it did it. It was a great time. <laughs> uh, the Mountain is in this thing. Yeah. And he's the big bad. Holy bum, shit. Cup, he's huge. Bum, cup, bum, yeah. Cup. That dude is massive. He's a monster. It's insane. And that that was the most unbelievable part, especially getting towards more like the ends of the movie where you're just like, they're, they're starting to amp up this big bad fight. Dude, the, the last third of the movie is the best part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the setup is nonsensical well, and it goes all over the, the place. The, the first 45 minutes of this movie, yeah. just cut it out. Yeah. You don't need any of it. Just go straight to the blood sport because that's the best part of the movie. The, the, the action editing and the fight choreography is great by yeah, all means. Good. The editing there is fine. It's the story elements that yeah. don't really make a lot of sense while you're trying to work your way up this, to that. This movie is literally just fight scene after yeah. fight scene with like two lines of dialogue between each fight. Oh, scene. yeah. There's not a lot That's of dialogue it. in this movie. Well, did, do you guys remember when the mountain, uh, Mungkuk? Mungkuk. Mungkuk. Mung Mung yeah. So he goes to punch, uh, you know, the main character. Mm -hmm. and the main out. character's wife jumps in front <laughs> and blocks the blow with her boob yeah. and then goes into <laughs> a coma. <laughs> Listen, if the mountain even looked at me, I'd call it to a coma. <laughs> you guys know he's like married to this tiny little. Oh, she's tiny. She comes up to like his ways. Yeah, yeah she, it's it's hilarious. Wild. <laughs> and she has his kids. The kids are like taller than her already. They have, they yeah. Have yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not. It, 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 it just about killed her. It was like you know, <laughs> it was like this bigger. Yeah, huge. I follow her on Instagram. <laughs> the, the, the best part of this movie is the fact that Jean Claude Van Damme plays uh, the guy's trainer. Yeah. And uh, he was in the first movie, and he shows up in this movie. But in this movie, Jean-Claude Van Damme's like, you know what? I want to be blind. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've, I've got a theory about Jean-Claude recently, because I've watched a lot of his more modern movies, because they show up on Netflix. And I'm like, oh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Hell yeah. Recently, in all of his movies, he's had some kind of like traumatic injury. In one movie, he was a he was an assassin that got his throat cut so he couldn't talk. Mm -hmm. So he he spent the entire movie with no lines. He just acted his way through the whole thing. Um, this one he's that was something. This one he's blind. Yeah. There's another one where he I, I think I want to say this, he's probably but, deaf or something. This, this like one, he's going through these like I, think, I want my character to be maimed in some way. This, <laughs> like, this is like him yeah. developing his craft. Yeah, yeah. In this one, I won't have any legs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he just like was hitting the wine a little bit too hard and he had bloodshot eyes most of the time. So he just wanted to wear his sunglasses. Sure. Just wanted to wear my sunglasses a lot. So we'll just say I'm blind. Well, he's yeah. got that. He's got the it silly little hat that he wears. In movie. Anything. He probably said, I'm, I'm not going to take my sunglasses yeah. off. While we <laughs> They're like, we got to make him blind. Yeah, make, yeah, him, blind. make him blind. <laughs> he's, he looks, he's walking around with sunglasses at night. <laughs> It well, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> he's just catching swords in his hand. Also, what what's funny is is like so at certain points in, throughout the movie, like Jean Claude remembers his character is blind. And he's like, you know, kind of acting blind. <laughs> but for the most part, like like he's just like yeah, acting like he's acting yeah. completely yeah. normal. Eye contact yeah. during his scenes. Well, but he's like his yeah, superpower, exactly. and that he's trying to teach the kickboxer. There's like a lesson here, and he's like, you have to move. The, you have to feel the air moving around <laughs> you, and that. And he's basically if they they cut to like. Um, so if somebody's going to kick Jean-Claude, they'll cut to like a dream. They're kicking him. And then they'll go back to the real world. And he's like, you're going to kick me in two seconds. Whew! And he like dodges it. It's like he has like premonitions about what's happening. Because, well, well, the whole thing is like because he no longer can see, his other senses are heightened. And so right. he's able to sense the world around him in sure. a way that he could never do so when he had eyesight. And so he's trying to teach that to his, his student here. But the line that you messed up, is that oh. you must feel the air move before it moves. <laughs> that, that, that's his words of wisdom. He's like, feel the air move before it moves. It so ridiculous. All right. I love it. At one point, he thinks that Kurt Sloan is dead and he goes, I just wish I could see him. <laughs> <laughs> As he's looking at him. <laughs> God, I love this movie. Uh, what the hell happened to Christopher Lambert's hair? He's got a haircut. Ah, uh, <laughs> bro. Somebody he needs long hair. <laughs> he definitely needs long hair. He's like, I'm watching this movie, and he, you know, I love it as a as a villain. He's cool, but he's got like this. Um, I almost want to say he's got like a 
Uh, he's, got, he's, Christopher, got, he's got like a Christopher Walken haircut. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, got, does, he's, got, he's got an old he man haircut. Yeah, he's got a Christopher Walken haircut. It's all spiky and just white. out and white. And he just white. has like this weird halo because the lighting's all strange in this movie. But he's Christopher, has, Christopher Walken could have played this role. A hundred percent. Yeah. 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 They couldn't afford him. Listen, <laughs> we want you to fight <laughs> the mountain over here. <laughs> you do a good job. <laughs> well, it, it's like they never quite Watch explain. Watch out, prison. They never quite explain. Lambert's uh, motivation here. Because, there is none. <laughs> because basically, like, he's ostensibly doing this to uh, uh, get vengeance for the death of his best fighter, who was Dave Batista in the previous movie, uh, because uh, that character got killed off. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, well, you killed my best fighter, and so I now have to use you as the main draw to, you know, build up my new fighter. Right. And... Uh, but he doesn't need the money. Like, th there's really no motivation other than him just being a dick. There's literally a line in this movie where he says, oh, that guy, he has more money than God. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I don't need your money. He, he said that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, the money doesn't matter. It's like, okay, well, why are we doing this? He's just right. super rich, and he just likes to toy with people. It's I like think. Elon Musk. <laughs> it's like, I'm just going to buy Twitter. To <laughs> but, just, like, put pays, memes out. He just pays, like, hot women to stand there while he tortures yeah. dudes. Yeah. Yeah, it's like hot Asian chicks in hot oh, bathtubs. What, what do you do for? Yeah. Oh, I just I stand around while this rich guy murders people. <laughs> I make a lot of money. Though. Yeah. That, that, Benefits are great. That's yeah. every... Pays for my gym membership. <laughs> <laughs> that's most hot chicks in Vegas. Oh, man, look at that hair. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so what? I mean, this movie's not exactly the deepest thing to be talking about. No. No. There's not a lot to it. Yeah. But I don't know what else to say. It, like, I loved the fight scenes. I love how many sunglasses. He's so face. huge. <laughs> the size of so, the guy. So, so uh, Mon Cut. Mon Cut. Mon Cut. Uh, I don't think it matters. The, <laughs> the, the, the mountain. mountain. Right. So, for some reason, he's chilling out in the prison when, uh, you know, they deliver the main character uh, to the bad guy. And they kind of set him up as this mountain of a man. But then later on, you realize that this guy's brother has been injecting him with, like, a special cocktail of, like, adrenaline and steroids and, like, all sorts of weird stuff. So he's basically Ivan Drago from Rocky IV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically before fights, they keep, like, injecting him with, like, Dude, these things. You see the size of that freaking syringe? Yeah. <laughs> it was like... It's, it's like an elephant syringe. It's an elephant Jesus, syringe. That chicken. <laughs> they, I was laughing because it was so comically huge. Yeah. Like, like, look, man, you're a human being. You're going to get juiced up fine. But they use normal size syringes. Uh -huh. They literally hold out like this freaking, it's like a cylinder size and they freaking jab it into his muscles. And then they, and then he gets all juiced up and he goes, like works out. It's out of the toxic adventure. It is. I it was, is. I was hoping that Mong Cut was like Thai for Mountain. <laughs> that, that would have been cool. Oh, yeah. But, but it's not. I, I, was, it's not, I had to nah, look it up. Missed opportunity. Yeah. What does it mean? Um, it was or the anything? Name, it was the name of a, of a king of Siam in the 1800s. Okay. All right. Fine. I'll allow so, it. Yeah. The king. He's named after a king. Named after a, yeah. It would be better if it was the mountain. Yeah. yeah but, but the big setup for Moncut is basically he has no weaknesses. And so, like, he's unbeatable, mm -hmm. essentially. And, uh, you know, at a certain point, Jean Claude Van Damme. That talks to the bad guys. He's like, I want, I want to see Munkut train. Mm -hmm. and, and they're like, What do you mean? You're blind. And he, he's, he's like, like Oh shit, I forgot. What I mean is, well, 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 <laughs> no, what he says is like, then, then it should be no problem, right? Mm -hmm. And so he goes and he notices with his enhanced senses of the air, of, of the air, yeah, that uh, basically if Munkut's heart rate gets high enough and he gets hit in the jaw, mm -hmm. he he gets his bell rung. And so, like, that's, like, his, like... We need these two things to happen. Yeah. So that's his big strategy is, 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 like, okay, get his heart racing and then just hit him in the jaw. That'll do it. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> okay, USA. Okay, USA. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only weakness for them. Yeah, but uh, can we talk a little bit about, like, Mike Tyson's introduction into all this and then what he becomes oh, like throughout the movie. What a beautiful storyline. <sighs> Talk to me. I don't even remember. <laughs> so, so, so he's meditating. Yeah. Uh -huh. so Did he, we find he, out what he's in prison for? No. Okay. No, so so <laughs> he, he's just he's just chilling out in this concrete hallway in front of like a plant and the main character just accidentally like bumps into him because he's being like attacked by another guy <laughs> and Mike Tyson gets up and he's like, you interrupted my meditation. <laughs> And then, like, uh, Beautiful. they they have this big fight, and and Mike Tyson just starts kicking this guy's ass because Mike he's Tyson Mike Tyson yeah. contractually yeah. isn't allowed to 
lose a fight. Right. Iron Mike. Yeah. Yeah. So like he he looks small. He well, he is small. He's short, but he, but he's he didn't. It's look still Mike Tyson though. I know, but you know. And this is like eight. This, yeah. This is this four is four years. Iron Mike. This and is, now and, and this he's like I don't know what is he sixty. He looks yeah, small. but this is 2018. He's like got, right, he looks jacked right now because he's doing that stupid fight with Jake Paul. Oh, but this was 2018. This was back when he was just kind of yeah, chilling. He's got a little bit of a dad bod going on. Yeah, here. Uh, but uh, so he basically kicks this guy's butt. Then he gets whipped, supposedly because like no acting is required <laughs> to you know feel the whip, I guess. And then after they both been whipped together, uh, he he's like, you know what, man, you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> You do a surprise. Yeah, good one. I mean, I'm, I'm going to teach you a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> and and so Mike Tyson starts teaching uh, the, kick, the kickboxer how to actually box. Yeah. Uh, in addition to Jean Claude Van Damme teaching him like how to use his other. Look, man, skills. in the world of people who are going <clears> to <throat> teach you how to fight, Mike Tyson and Jean Claude. You, know, you, know, you know what this movie needed? Hmm. Tiger. It, well, Tiger would have been cool. <laughs> um, it needed a 1980s musical themed training montage. Yeah. This movie is half montages. No, it's, it's really. You don't think so? Because no, a montage has to have the music. Mm. It has to have, you know, the struggle scenes, you know, yeah. with, with, the, with the board running through the snow. And, mm -hmm. you like know, in the original. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's got to be, you know. Movies were better in the You know, music yeah. by Survivor or somebody. Sure. You know, something like that. This movie would be better if it was made in the 80s. On the hood of a car. It, it, needed, it needed a montage, a proper montage. There's a lot of fight scenes that are cool, but there's yeah. no training montage. One of, the, one of the weird things about this movie is, so the first 10 minutes of it are basically a dream sequence. Mm -hmm. And when he wakes up, he's in the middle of a UFC ring in a fight where he had like blacked out and had like this, this dream. But then throughout the rest of the movie, certain things from the dream start coming right. true Magic. for weird reasons. Like they never explain. The guy with the with the tattoo. Mm -hmm. And he's yeah, like, yeah. oh, that yeah, guy's yeah. involved. Yeah, he, he just so happened to have a vision of this guy who happened to kidnap his wife. And it's like a real guy with mm -hmm. like the exact tattoo. Who also happens to kidnap his wife. Yeah. Um, and what was crazy about the whole kidnapping thing. So like the wife comes to Thailand to try to track him down because she's a former like police investigator. And uh, she gets kidnapped by uh, Christopher Lambert's thugs. But like she's kept in this place where you reach it from like a farming village. And then there's this room full of mirrors, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, the Bruce Lee scene uh, from Enter the Dragon, mm -hmm. where ba basically like he's going through this house of mirrors where like the, the two women in their thongs are like, you know, like hunting oh, yeah. them down. Um, and uh, then like he rescues his, his, wife and as they're escaping suddenly they're in the penthouse of a skyscraper right. uh -huh. and so it, every skyscraper every skyscraper comes with like a, a mirror room yeah so, 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 so <laughs> like outside so like Checks I, out. I, I, knows. I, I, with, with like a couple of girls in thongs sure. every skyscraper yeah, I, yeah. I, I was doing yeah. some headcanon where i was like okay so the hall of mirrors is so that if the girl tries to escape she can't find her way out easily because women are they dumb have, they yeah. have time to catch her <laughs> And uh, th but then I was like, where did the skyscraper come from, and how did they get from like the ground all the way up to the top? I'm telling you, dude, they just teleport in this movie. Magic. People just go from one place to another. There's no editing. There's no there's no transitional periods. It's just you were in prison. Now but you're in a skyscraper. There's really good fight scenes. <laughs> there's really good fight scenes. Uh -huh. That's all this movie has going Wish for it. We all what what more do you watch a movie like this for? I mean, fair enough. You're gonna watch Kickboxer I, Seven, yeah, and you're gonna be like, "Well, the story doesn't make any sense." Like, shut up! I didn't know this existed. <laughs> shut up! Just shut up, Mike Tyson. But, but Jude and I did clock the fact that in every one of these fight scenes, they were following the Jean Claude Van Johnson rule of like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, guys, we gotta attack one at a time." Yes. Keep this yes. Order. Otherwise, it's gonna be Dude, chaos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that scene we just watched that was on the screen, yeah, where he's like in the prison mm -hmm. and he gets attacked by one person at a time yep. for like ten minutes, and you like. Kicks him in the thing, and then he kicks this other guy through a wall. He's a fire extinguisher and smacks one of them. Yeah, then he puts yeah. the guy in the monkey bars and smashes his head, and then they all get together, and he like, uh, that's it. He like, flinches. Oh, yeah. Two for flinching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny, man. It's just like, <laughs> it's really good. Oh, God. And it, it's the same guys that keep getting yeah, beaten dudes. up. You know, like oh, they have a they have a crew scene. of like seven people that do the sh all the scenes. Ten yeah. million dollars. <laughs> that's great. Good for you. <laughs> How many times do you want to get hit by this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and my biggest complaint is that Jean-Claude Van Damme did not use his gift once throughout this entire oh, movie. No, no yeah. splits. No splits? Yeah. He did, did he do any roundhouse kicks, though? He, 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 he didn't been. even fight. 
No, he, well, he's well, a, he's he the, had the sword fight. He's the yeah. guru, and he, he did fight Christopher Lambert with a sword. Yeah. Yep. We, we got blind. Yeah, they're both blind. Two blind guys <laughs> fighting with a sword. <laughs> that sounds like the opening of a joke. Two two blind guys are fighting each other with a sword. <laughs> blind guys. Should, should, should we should we talk about the longest fight in human recorded history? Talk to me at yeah. the end between yeah. the oh with the mouth. Oh my god, I was yeah, we okay. haven't even talked about the like all the, right. The big finale. The big right? payoff. The big payoff is he finally <laughs> has to the fight the mountain. third act of the It movie. is literally the entire third of the movie. And and the mountain's only line is, <laughs> that's all he does just, the whole time. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you got it, buddy. I mean, look, man, the guy has built a His career. His mom's there, and she's Me like, I love you, son. He goes, Arr! Remember like, when he first like, showed up in like, Game of Thrones, and he's like, who am I fighting? That's it, man. <laughs> that's, that's all you gotta do. That's all he's got. That's all he's got. <laughs> It's like, just pretend you're a Wookiee. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, they're definitely going for the Drago thing with this one. They're all yeah. juiced up, freaking, yeah. you know, steroided out. They're just like pumping them full of drugs right there at the side yeah. of the ring. And there's no rules. There's no rules. No, no, no drugs. That's a, li that's a line in the movie, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's funny because like at each stage of like the, the, the fight, they keep trying to like up the stakes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so like at one point, they're like, put knives in their elbows. <laughs> <laughs> Knives at your joints and the swords. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dual swords. So, yeah. So, so, like in round two, like they they have to fight with swords, but they have like uh, these like knives like strapped to their elbows elbow as well. Elbow elbows knives. and knees. God, you know, how, you know how brutal that would be to have a freaking elbow knife and you just freaking. Yeah. Oh, I always walk around with elbow knife. You have an elbow knife? Yeah, always. Yeah. <coughs> and you know what I need is a knee knife. So yeah. Do you have a toe knife? Like a boot? Like a boot knife? Uh, yeah. 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 That's... Wanna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But this 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 fight that was goes, the first thing I got. Of course, yeah. th this fight's incredible because the mountain just kicks his ass. Oh so yeah, he kicks his ass so bad, and th and this is where this movie takes it to the next level. Kicks his ass so bad, he literally kills him. Yeah, and he has to do literally. The he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. They have to spirit leaves the body. But they have we to have he's done. He's more dead. time. <laughs> I'm like, we got to get that 89 20, minute run. So not so fast. <laughs> There's still 20 minutes left in this movie. He's dead. Yeah. What's going on? And you his know? wife had to come in oh, and pulp fiction. His wife was in yeah. a coma. A coma two yeah. seconds ago. Yeah. Is Stick now at the fight with adrenaline. Yeah. With adrenaline. Sticks the fuck right the, in his chest, yeah. and he's all. <gasps> you know, he comes back. Uh, he goes back and fights. And then it's like full. The 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 life meter just went. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, it's, it's a, video, a video, game. game. video game. Yes. Yeah. So this fight, it, it's billed as a fight to the death. Right. Because basically that's what the end of the fight in the previous movie was. And so uh, everyone shows up to see like, okay, who's going to win? Mm -hmm. uh, who's going to die? And uh, basically the loser gets killed. Yeah. And uh, uh, the wife, like when she sees her husband be declared dead by the most effeminate doctor we've ever seen. Ah, he's uh, dead. Yeah. <laughs> he's dead, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, she she sees, like, an extra, like, adrenaline syringe from, like, the the, the brother of Moncut? Moncut. Moncut. And she, <laughs> steal, she, she steals that and, like, Pulp Fiction's the yeah. main character. I was like, I gotta stab her three times? Yeah, no, 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 just once. <laughs> right in the heart. Give me a fucking felt pen. <laughs> Black magic marker. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and so like she jabs it into his heart and uh, and he wakes up. And when he gets up, like, you know, you know like Monk Hook's like, like declaring victory and behind him, like he stands up and, and Jude's like, oh, I hope the syringe is still in his chest. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> And like you literally see him just like pull the syringe kind of out. He's just around as he's gesticulating about how he's not done yet. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Well, it's funny. And so like this guy has just been dead basically. And he get, he gets up. He's like, man, I feel really good. Yeah. Great. Yeah. He's, like, he's like, let's keep this fight going. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. It's been 30 minutes. This is a, this is a crazy ass movie. Um, oh, it's definitely worth it. I need to watch the the first, yeah, the got, reboot or whatever with, 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 with Batista. Yeah, we'll watch the you know, twofer. <laughs> well, well, but before we like start wrapping things up, what's even crazier is like so after he comes back from the dead and he starts fighting the mountain again. Mm -hmm. So eventually, like he beats the mountain. You're thinking like, oh, oh mount, mountain's yeah. dead. Yeah, and then like mountain's not dead. <laughs> he he like starts like choking the guy out or like whatever. So he has to take a chain, wrap mm -hmm. it around yeah. the mountain's neck. And then, like, do like a backflip yeah. to use like his, you know, his the leverage Which of his weight. Which ties back to the, the, the fever front. dream at the beginning of the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is after like you know he was almost drowned, 
and stuff like that. So like, drowned, burned, choked, stabbed, drugged. He goes through the whole yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. Crazy. And the entire time this fight's going on, like I'm looking at my watch. I'm like, how much longer is this fight <laughs> going to last? This movie is easily 25 minutes too long. Easily. I mean, all it is is, hey, you're the best UFC fighter. Yeah. We're going to kidnap you. Go fight this guy. And that that's have a, a training montage in the middle there. Yeah, you can cut this movie down to be 80 minutes. And it'd yeah. be great. It would probably be really fucking good. Yeah. But they they just overblowed it with a bunch of stuff that doesn't make any sense. And they're moving people across the globe and cut scenes. And you're like, yeah, yeah. wait a minute. We were in Thailand a minute ago. What's happening right now? He had more yeah. Mike Tyson, I think. Yeah. Yeah. At the beginning of the movie, they uh, there are these two U.S. marshals that just like tase uh, the main character. That's right. He was accused of murder. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they tase him. He's in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. He wakes up in Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> He, you he was, passed he out just, the, entire out the entire time. Yeah. Everybody's like taser does that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the U.S. Marshals. Every sky, rise, every sky rise comes with a house of mirrors. Every taser makes you pass out long enough to fly from Vegas to Thailand. Yeah. It's just facts. Sure. The science doesn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's rate this movie. Uh, for me, <sighs> I don't know, dude. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe a one and a half stars. I don't think it's a two. It's not good. It would be better if it was edited differently. It's got potential, but it's just too much. Uh, one and a half, I think, for me. This is like a yeah. It's a bogus movie. What about you? I'm I'm right there with you. Yeah. It, it, it would be a one star craft fest. <laughs> okay, but I did have a little bit of fun with the mountain and Mike Tyson. Sure. You know what I mean. There's so, fun to be had. Jean Claude Van Damme. I'm blind. <laughs> 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 I can't see anything. It's like, whatever. You know. Christopher Lambert with a sword. You know, yeah. There could be only one. You know, I wanted them to <laughs> this say This giant it. forehead. Yeah, but, you know, oh, if uh, he had just said that one just, line in this yeah. movie, I would have been an extra star. Yeah, oh, easily. So, yeah. But yeah, yeah, one and a half. It, yeah. I mean, if you really want to like just sit there and get a bottle of Boons or something <laughs> and just get yourself wasted, uh, just, you know, redneck drunk and watch yeah. a stupid fighting movie, go for it. Do it. It's fun. But, yeah. Uh, there's no real reason to ever subject yourself to this. Wow. Unless, you're doing a, unless you're doing a podcast about it, I guess. So, Jude. You're both crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I texted you upon just finishing watching this movie. Yeah. And I stand by that this movie is the greatest movie that I have ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's not good but it's great. Yeah. If I were to put it in the so bad, it's good, this would be five stars. However, that's not what we're doing. Don't yell at me. I know that we're doing Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude Van Damme. In the realm of Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. <laughs> but this is a one-star crap fest. However, it's so much fucking fun that uh, I got to split the difference and I got to call it like two and a half stars. Two and a half? Wow. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. This is This is a perfect so bad, it's good movie. Okay, fair enough. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. Yeah. I wish I would have watched it with people because I was by myself and I was like, oh my God. I watched it with my wife. <laughs> you know how that was. Oh, oh, whoa, Jesus no way. Well, no wonder you guys. I, I, I watched it sitting down watching like a proper person uh-huh. and she sat back there behind me in the kitchen <laughs> and was chopping up. Heckling you? Chopping up vegetables and she goes, what are you watching? <laughs> what is this horse what shit? Is, this? <laughs> is, that, is that that mountain guy? Is that is that John claude Van Damme? It's like, yes, yes it is. It's like he's old. <laughs> I'm start watching movies together. Oh my god! I was like six drinks deep, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, good." <laughs> okay, just what's your rating for this one? So I actually had a really good time watching this movie. Um, it, it reminded me a lot, like the the very first fight scene, like was very much a wonder. Like uh, you know, it was a uncut one shot, mm-hmm. long shot of, of like the fight going on. And I was like, man, this really reminds me of jujitsu. And uh, so, like, I, I looked it up on IMDb, and I was like, that's why same it reminds me of Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. It's the exact same yeah. team and people do it, doing it. And uh, if you guys remember Jiu-Jitsu, that was another really bad, yeah. dumb but fun movie. I tried to forget that movie. Yeah. So uh, this I movie— I this was more fun than Jiu-Jitsu. Th- this movie was way more fun than Jiu-Jitsu. And um, I felt like I wish I had seen— the previous kickboxer, just so I had more context. For yeah, agreed. So next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I had a good time watching this, mostly mm-hmm. just because me and Jude were just like uh, mystery science theatering the yeah. entire thing sure. as we were watching it. And that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it was fun to see Mike Tyson. It was fun to see Christopher Lambert. It was fun to see the mountain. Um, 
I did not get enough Jean Claude Van Damme in this movie. Though. Mm. Yeah, I needed more J- JCVD. I needed sure. more close ups of his muscles. I needed sure. a syringe From full of JCVD. <laughs> 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 I needed some unfiltered JCVD in this movie. Yeah. Um, so like, I felt like my biggest criticism of this is like it was not the right pick for June Claude Van Damme. We needed a a movie where he was the actual main character. As opposed to just a supporting character. Yeah, but some of those movies really suck. Yeah, <laughs> th- th- this is true. This is true. But anyway, uh, in terms of this movie, it's probably a one star. But like, I had so much fun watching it. I'm going to give it two. So, so you're right there, there with the rest of us. That's yeah. Fine. yeah, cool. All right, folks, that's it for the Salty Nerd Podcast this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if um, you've never heard of this movie, that's okay. That's what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> if I were reading this on a scale for uh, movies the mountain was in, five star. Five, five star movie. Yeah. 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 What other movies was he in? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> we're out of here. Fun. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Really appreciate it. Comment below your favorite oh, JCVD movie. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What? what? In terms of Mike, Mike Tyson movies, how does this rate? Uh, Ip Man. Ip Man 3 is up there. Mike Tyson freaking kicks ass in that movie. Hangover's way up there. Hangover's way up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mike T- T- Tyson. <clears throat> oh, well, he also was in that Steven Seagal movie. Which he, one? He's in a Steven Seagal. Yeah, yeah. Is that what we're watching next week? I think it might be what we're <laughs> watching next week. <laughs> oh, no. Tune in next week to find out. <laughs> finance, financed by the Chinese government. No, of course. Propaganda. No. Of course. No. Was it the Russian government or Chinese? Chinese. Wow. All right. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Stay salty. <laughs>